Welcome to this episode of News Bites. I'm Brennan Scarborough here in downtown Appleton, enjoying the beautiful weather during Street Music Week, which has local artists come out and receive donations for their musical talents. We spoke with event organizers on how their efforts are putting food on the plates of our neighbors who need it. We're in our 12th year here at Street Music Week. Tell us a little bit about the inception of it, how it started, how did we get to where we are today? Absolutely. So really, the idea of Street Music Week started in Spokane, Washington, where they keep this great event going as well. And one of our amazing team members, Audrey Hendrickson, brought the idea and concept to me and said, Didi, we gotta, we gotta get the community together, let musicians kind of have their voice, if you will, and see what we can do to help our neighbors really feed their soul, right, in a new way. We have pianos that are out. We had years where people brought a whole drum kit out. Kids that maybe have just started on their trumpet and are playing, you know, accomplished original singer-songwriters here like Chris Gold or Kyle Magna, Steve March Torme will be out. We're gonna have a big bluegrass jam led by Debbie Wagner and more than 40 people have already said they wanna participate in that. So I mean really, you name it, that's a musical instrument, you can bring that on out. And it doesn't matter if you've been playing a couple of days or decades, everybody's coming out being just totally vulnerable and realizing that them donating their time, so all of them are donating their time, they're making music, right, lifting the spirits and asking people to donate to help our neighbors in need. About that, how cool is it that it's it's the Appleton community who's doing this and helping not only the Appleton but the greater Fox Valley area, how cool is it that they're using their efforts to go to something beyond them, beyond what they're doing today. Yes. Well, you know what, we're also really lucky to have this great downtown community, which just really encompasses having such great activity happen. So it's a great space to have a hub. So come on out and make the music or put the money in the buckets and then grab lunch or come to one of your local establishments, right, and shop. And we all make good things happen together, right? That's what makes a community special. And I think the more that we can give of our different gifts and talents and then try to help understand what it can do to the world, that's what we just gotta do. What's the goal when you see this maybe at, in its 15th year, hopefully 20th year, what's the goal for this? This year our goal is to raise over $10,000. I'd love us to continue to see that lift, but I'd, you know what would be really great is if people just remembered it's always the second week of June is Street Music Week. We shouldn't have to tell you. You should know. Grab your instrument, come on out. It's good to leave your desk or chair, right, and make some music. It'll lift your own soul so that everybody's just like sets their watch by it. Then a decade from now everybody remembers and they just come out and make music and support it. And people, I would love to see this Houdini Plaza filled with people eating lunch and then supporting and then remembering that they get to eat lunch. So how can they help someone else who maybe can't get lunch today? If somebody is out there and they're like, you know what, I started guitar lessons last week and next year I hope to be down here. How can they get involved with this next year? I love it. Well, you know what? Actually, they shouldn't have to wait because actually we have several teachers that are coming out and strumming next to them. So don't be afraid. Come on, that's how we get over it and you'll find your tune. But we will always have on HiveMusic.com that we'll have Street Music Week posted and through Feeding America social channels. It's a great collaboration. So just mark your calendar, second week of June 2025. Don't miss it. I'm here with Liz Wollenberg from Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. Liz, how cool is it at this event just how many talented people are here in Appleton? I mean, the small pocket of Wisconsin, so many cool musicians out here today. Yeah, I mean, the best part is there's so much talent, but that people care so much about the community that they're going to come out. I mean, it's a beautiful day, so it's a great excuse to come outside, but that we've got these amazing musicians and amazing talent that they're going to say, how can I help? And we're going to do this today. Just come out and share your time and talents with us to raise a little bit of money and it's it's such a diverse group of you know people playing <laughs> guitars there's like a whole orchestra down there I mean it's not no two are the same right <laughs> no absolutely and it's also a huge variety in there are you know 10 year old kids who are doing piano lessons on the street to a lovely couple who have been playing together for 50 years I mean so you get all sorts of eclectic types of expression as well so if you want to hear instruments you've never heard before for experience something different this is also a fun place to do it okay so speaking of instruments we've never heard before Liz if you had to play an instrument for donations for your neighbors what would you play if you had to the recorder oh that there we go the only instrument I would know how to hot, play. hot cross buns or something like that <laughs> yeah perfect but more seriously so 
the money that we received today is something cool that Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin could do is kind of make those dollars stretch even more so than maybe somebody giving us food donations. Telling us a little bit about that. Well, what's really great and what I get to do for a living here is work with food manufacturers, retailers, and that means that your dollar goes even further. One dollar donated to us equals four meals worth of food because we have these fantastic relationships that can bring in more food with those with those dollars that are donated. And Street Music Week is a you know a great time to donate, but it doesn't stop here. How else can people help us? Maybe if they miss this event. So if you aren't able to come out today, uh, you can always donate online or if you want to donate your time and talents we always have volunteer opportunities at the warehouse or being involved with other events throughout the year. Now the need for monetary donations does not end with Street Music Week or any of our programs. We're always looking for that and you can help out your neighbors who need it at our website feedingamericawi.org. In Appleton for News Bites, I'm Brendan Scarborough.